Good morning. Uh, I'm Lee Smith. This is Roy Williams. And uh, we're going to talk today about uh, taming the uh, Cessna 180, 185. The next thing we're going to do here is we're going to jack the tail up till the prop touches the asphalt. To get the prop, you'll scare yourself because you're looking down straight like this. The prop's going to actually touch the ground back here somewhere. See, so, you now this feels level right here at this. Okay. And how high is the tail off the ground at that point? Its tail is quite a bit uh, off the ground. Now it looks like the nose is low at this point. Okay. And what kind of and you're, do we have? Keep going. That's, that's 10 inches from hitting the ground. Now right about there. Okay, keep going. Now see the, wheel, the wheels are starting to roll backwards. Yep, it's okay. Just keep going. You're fine. It's rolling back where it needs to. Keep going. So the tail wheel is over six feet in the air at this point. Still have three inches of clearance on the prop. Keep going some more. Are you starting to slide out of the seat, Roy? I feel forward, uh, yes, forward yes. pressure, yep. And this is the point that people don't understand. We still have three inches to go for the prop to hit the ground. You can see that the prop has moved back uh, 13 inches. And if we went all the way to the ground, I would expect it to move back another inch or two so the prop would have moved back about 15 inches to catch it. The stinger is uh, over seven and a half feet high. And we're not even hitting the prop yet. The step is 32 inches. All bets are off if you're standing on the brake. The interesting thing is your seat's almost level, actually. It's the, uh, I thought the seat would have been sloped down more. Well, because it, it probably sits back like this. Right, it does. Know, anyway, so it yeah. It does, that's why. It's interesting that I, I always I was under the impression that the seat would be, you'd be sliding out of your seat. But you can feel you can feel it. I mean, you yeah. can feel forward. Yeah. Yeah, but it's because the floorboards are falling. Your feet yeah. are dangling. True. Exactly. <laughs> yep. The seat's level. I always assumed that the seat would be sloped down. We've got the tail wheel on the ground, and this aircraft has got the large tail wheel. What is that on you have back here? Tail wheel uh, landing gear works. Which is a 500, 500 by 5? Five. 505. 505, so that's much larger than the average tailwheel. Our step now is 22 inches off the ground. When the prop was close to touching, the step was 32 inches off the ground. So the step was 22 inches off the ground with the tail on the ground. And when we were close to hitting the prop, we were 32 inches. Uh, the step was off the ground. The stinger was seven feet, seven and a half feet in the air, and we still hadn't touched the prop. And the prop had actually moved backwards over 15 inches. And uh, you can see that the prop kind of gets tucked between the main gears as this comes up on its nose. So, and the interesting thing that I learned today is that the seat was actually level but the sensation you get with the floorboards being sloped down is that you're sliding out of your seat. So only 10 inches difference of elevation here translates into over a foot of clearance difference up there and over seven feet of tailwheel clearance at the back end. Is that correct? Well... When, when this is 10 inches higher. Right. So right now you have 21 inches of prop clearance. So over 20 inches then, or well, almost yeah. 20 inches difference. Yeah, you have 21 inches, but this is also a seaplane prop with a big tail wheel. So the small tail wheel would give me more prop clearance, and if we went to a three blade, we'd be smaller diameter with even more prop clearance. So to get a three blade to hit the ground, um, it would even be more um, pitched over more so what was your experience, Roy? It felt really uncomfortable with that tail that high in the air. And of course, it, looks, it feels like you're looking straight down at the ground at that point. But yet you can see that very little difference in elevation in the cockpit translates into obviously large uh, height difference at the tail, but still plenty of clearance up here at the front. And like you said, with a long prop and a big tail wheel, that clearance is reduced, so with a uh, smaller prop, a smaller tailwheel, we'd have even more margin in there. Correct. Wonderful. Thanks, Lee. Thank you.